That opened just this past fall. There is a little looper by Woods in the left. Slight bobble there by the shortstop, Valido, who went out to get it, and Woods gets an extra base. One, two. Another strikeout. Strikes out the side in the second inning, does Alexa Romero. And one, two. Got her swinging, and that ends the inning. Two more strikeouts. Left side and through for a base hit. They will hold up Tony Martin at third. No chance to score her on that ball. CC Cook charged in from left. Sometimes just one can open things up. Now they put Laviolette in motion. A bounce throw from Torres got her. She's the leadoff hitter for Boston College. On the ground, past the first baseman, Almer. BC will take the lead. Into the corner it goes. Guy scores. Mattia to third. For another run or two before she does. Instead, Romero records her 10th strikeout of the afternoon here. Two out. Infield all the way in, and that ball grounded to short. Valido's coming to the plate, safe at home. Woods sliding under the tag of Bocano, and we are tied. Much today from the lefty Romero. Line to third, it's Clyde made the catch and doubles off Randaza at first base. For her last 29 innings. This one deep to center, wind pushing it back in a bit for Ellie Mattia. Runner tags, and that's Caceres Mayer to second. Called safe, it was close. For Anderson. Hasso into right field with a base hit. Being waved around is Caceres Mayer. The relay not in time. Payoff pitch. In at the knees to end the ball game. Alexa Romero with her 12th punch out of the contest. And Syracuse pulls a rabbit out of the proverbial hat in this one. The Orange with their first eight game winning streak in 10 seasons. A run in the seventh and a run in the eighth. Enough to do the trick for Syracuse in game one here today.